perspective. Okay. Um, ears. Okay. All right. So uh, you guys take a moment here. <gasps> it's an ear jar. It's an ear jar. All right. <laughs> Our pickle jar. It's now an ear jar. It's now an ear jar. What, what happened? We tried to find you. Oh. I don't know. They're very clever. I was sneaking all the way down, and they did. They still discovered me. I don't know how. We no. look at the rope connected to the log. Yeah, it's, it, it, <laughs> as, as not saying this, your eyes wander off of her over to the right. You see this heavy uh, tree covered in like jagged bark that's kind of. That happened after they uh, discovered me. Right. Hmm. Ooh, what are all these bags in here? I was about to go through them. Do you want to help? Yeah. All, all right. right. I will keep an eye. I will keep an eye down the tunnel that they came from while they pillage. Yeah. I'll look around. Are there any other entrances? Any other entrances? And as you're looking, I'm going to pull all the dancing lights down to one and put the rag over it and just walk beside Bo so that she can see. Okay. There are two shafts. Both seem to descend. Uh, both kind of curving off in opposite directions. They're both have, have the uh, the wooden frame uh, for support. Um, I'll look looking around. <laughs> Come on, you people. Um, we need a corner and a camera for the corner and a log paper hat for you to put you in the corner. I didn't even react to it. He had to put it on. That's fine. Um, so yeah, looking, looking around, there, there, it looks like this was kind of a common area. This is the, the closest chamber to the exterior of the, of the, uh, the mine. Um, it looks like there were a number of tables here that a lot of them been knocked over and broken. A lot of what would have filled this chamber has been pushed into the barricade you saw up front. Um, but uh, you're helming the investigation, so you're gonna make an investigation check. Not that that was me. Me yeah. and well, Caleb. Well, you guys are looking down the shaft. Oh, sorry. They're, they're looking for the into bags. the sacks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but bo both of the shafts just descend and curve out of view. Blow. Oh, no. They go to a steady like do forty-five degree beam. I'm, I'm helping. Again? No, no. Are we? Oh, do I get advantage because they're helping? Too drunk to help. I think right now. <laughs> but I, I was helping. Uh, you're looking in there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Take All advantage of right, so it. You're experiencing cotton mouth. That's not that good. Investigation. It's so tiny. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Um, you glance about and you find there's there's a, an untapped ale barrel, there's an untapped water barrel, there's a hooded lantern that still has a functional bit of oil in it, though it's only about half full. Um, it's very rusted over, but you clear off the the, the glass on the outside and it it'll work fine. Um, you find a sledgehammer that the handle is not so rotted at the point where it wouldn't be functional, but like a you know, fair sledgehammer if you wanted to, to break any rock or stone. Um, the crowbar that you had seen earlier mm -hmm. that can be uh, acquired. You write this thing down. Yeah. You find a you find a, a small lightweight rod about that long that has a short piece of what looks like waxed twine hanging from one end. Okay. Is it metal? Did you say? Or is it no, it's not metal. It's it feels almost like a hard clay. Yeah. With wax, Boom. Well, like a, like a, a, a waxed Boom. piece of twine on it. Can I can I would I can I can I make a make a knowledge test to see if I would know what what, what this is or? Test. You mean an intelligence? <laughs> test? That would be it. <laughs> well, is this an intelligence or is this what can would this I, be? I'm trying to think, think of like of like. I feel like I might have come across this. Did you do a brain quiz? <laughs> you had you had as good a chance as anybody to come across yeah, this. So if you want to make an intelligence, just an intelligence check. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, Machiavelli. Okay. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. You <laughs> haven't come across one of these. Um, well, I have it. And yeah. then the the water and oh, water jug ale. and the ale. Water jug yeah. and the or ale not jug. jug um, cask. Barrel cask. cask. Oh, so I can't carry that with me. No, they're they're like they're big. big, heavy, filthy. You can put them aside. You make an intelligence like check. And ale. And we will be bringing them out here. Okay, that's okay. That's uh, Shiza. Where did it go? Over here, D and D Beyond. Uh, it is a, a ten. Ten. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Very low. All right. So. Human. Want a lantern? Oh yes. Human. Oh. Did Did you light it? Is it a lit lantern? I haven't lit it yet. You can light it. I'll it's help hooded, so you can. Only have one hand. Oh, I can like close it, on and off, right? Like the, like it's one a, of those things. Once, once it's Once it's ignited and the oil is lit, then yeah, you can. Open and close the hood. I'm one-handed, so I can't really help you light it. Well, what we got? Are we happy? Yeah, I found a small rod, and the crowbar, and the sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. Are you gonna carry the sledgehammer? Is and it heavy? Well, not for you, beast mode. <laughs> Did you just hold that rod? You're an alchemist. 
Yeah. Does the various Did materials the world, does and chemicals. Does the rod look like crudely made or, or like prettily designed? Apparently, or? I'm looking it over. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, as you're kind of looking it over. It's it's not beautifully made. It looks yeah. functional, like a lot of the tools here. There isn't a lot of of presentation more than function. Yeah. Uh, so what you bring into a mine. Okay. Um, no carving, no glyphs, no nothing like that. Just cake no. and shit. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, you kind of take the rod and kind of smell it, and a familiar scent hits your nose. Um, you've worked in your alchemical time with uh, small level explosives. You've, uh, as part of the element of the alchemist's fire, there is a reagent, a catalyst, that uh, when the chemicals mix, it causes a minor explosion that then burns heavily. There is an element of that to that, but it's very, very strong and a very intense uh, scent to it. You, as soon as you smell it, it brings back memories of accidents that have happened in the past, and uh, you, on a very small scale, and you immediately get this kind of wave of cold shiver down your neck that this is a very dangerous object if um, used improperly. But yeah, think just careful with that. Um, I think maybe, maybe none of us should hold that. <laughs> uh, may, maybe Ford, he seems sort of responsible. No, don't make it a mustache. <laughs> you know, it could blow up your face. <laughs> it could blow up really? your face. Yeah, it it, it's up. a boom boom stick. <laughs> That's the alchemical term. <laughs> oh shit. Um, I think if, if, if you put that near fire, it could go explode. So who wants to hold it who is not Jester? Yeah, I'll take it. Give me my pencil, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, throw a sharp object. <laughs>